Hi and welcome back to another video. Today I am talking about Microsoft Teams and how you can join more than one meeting at the same time. And um, this will be a relatively quick tutorial so if you do find it useful please do click on the like button and click subscribe it helps the channel out massively uh, and with all that said let's jump on over to Microsoft Teams. Okay so here I am just within my Microsoft Teams um, general supply chain channel just here um, and what I'm going to do is actually just start a meet now um, meeting I'll turn my camera off um, just down here for some reason it's not letting me there we go um, and I'm going to click meet now okay so this is meeting number one what I then want to do is actually navigate back over here on the, the team section and if I give that a click, you'll notice how it gets minimized over there. Now it says in my general channel of um, supply chain that I'm in a meeting and it's very visible just within the post section. Also visible just down here next to the general channel that there is a meeting happening. Okay. Next I'm going to go and click on the meetings channel and also click a meet now, um, set up a meet now button. I won't give it a title we'll turn my camera off and we'll click meet now. Okay, so now I can head back over to the Microsoft Teams section once again and I have two meetings now that I am currently in. And again, this is visible inside the general channel just with the little camera icon there and the meeting icon over here. Um, you can see that I have um, one meeting and two meetings. Um, so it's easy to flick between the two of them. So for example, I am in the meetings channel here uh, and I'm on hold in the general channel. Now if I click on general um, and click play on there, it's now switching me between the two. I'm now on hold in meetings, um, but I'm being heard in the general channel. And again, I can flick between both of those as needed. Now again, we can go further. I've got a private group here. And if I want to have a set up a meet now for my private group, just turn my camera off and click meet now and um, come back to the team section and now I have three meetings um, all happening at the same time and you can see which ones are active and which ones you're on hold in, how long they're all going, um, how long each meeting has been going on for etc. Um, and again it's as easy just to click on the resume button um, or hang up each specific meeting as you need. Um, but it is as simple as that, guys, um, to join multiple meetings at the same time. Um, obviously, as you click inside each one, you obviously have the, the much wider screen and you can digest um, presentations, etc. And you can easily flick between each of these directly here. Um, but if you wanted to join more and you're, and you're thinking you're stuck in here, all you have to do is actually just navigate over to the navigation section over here on the far left hand side. And that will take you out of um, the full screen mode and basically drop down into these little mini windows on the left hand side. This then lets you go and join multiple uh, meetings. So as you can see, I have one, two and three. Um, but we could have a lot more meetings going on as needed. Obviously, the, depending on um, the specs of your device and your computers will depend how um, the performance of these meetings are. Um, so obviously because they're on hold and it takes up quite a bit of um, processing power and memory just to hold these these meetings so do bear that in mind if you intend to have multiple meetings occurring at the same time um, but it's as simple as that to actually just go through and um, create new meetings or join existing meetings and I'm just going to hang these up um, and that is it guys so if you found this useful please do click on the like button hit subscribe and tap that bell it means a lot to the channel and with all that said I will catch you guys in the next video